Hello everyone. Good day. I'm good to have you here today. My name is Beauty Akwai and you're welcome to my channel. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, you're welcome. But if this is your first time, welcome as well. But please, you need to subscribe to this channel so you get notified whenever I come live. Make sure you turn on the notification bell. Um, it will make you receive notification whenever I post an amazing video here on youtube so here we talk about relationship marriage and everything that revolves around both relationship and marriage um today i want to talk about how to handle a quarrelsome spouse <laughs> um nagging is an annoying attribute which can be exhibited both by men or women okay and you know most time some people think nagging is peculiar to women or they feel like well, it's only women that can quarrel they life fights no have you seen men that quarrel hey they do better than women like <laughs> you can't beat them they can quarrel very well so some people find faults in everything their partner does and it makes them yell they quarrel and you know maybe you've just found yourself in um, a marriage whereby your partner is quarrelsome um, I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to handle a quarrelsome partner be it a man or a woman now the first thing you need to do is silence okay you know two wrongs can never make it right do you know that keeping quiet has a way of even frustrating the person to to stop you know you are shouting you are talking i mean i'm not talking i'm not even saying anything you know when i say something that everything will just escalate when i'm quiet nobody can misunderstand silence silence is silence so when you have a quarrelsome partner whenever they start <laughs> just keep quiet okay because like i said two wrongs can never make a right the second thing you need to do um on how to handle a quarrelsome partner is um sometimes um they have a need that is not being met okay and this could be the reason why they nag meet their need okay or meet their needs if you can okay um sometimes it could be that there's an expectation they are having and they are not getting it from you so try to find out what they really want and do it so that you avoid this unnecessary quarrel the third way to handle a quarrelsome spouse is to find out the reason for their nagging find out the reason for their nagging and what triggers them okay some people don't nag because um it's their best right to nag and some people don't nag because they are jobless and they just feel like nagging makes them feel good no they don't nag because of that they nag because somebody is making them nag so make sure you are not making him or her nag okay so just make sure you're not responsible for their nagging and try to avoid the triggers things that triggers the quarrel avoid it as much as you can okay um the fourth way to handle a quarrelsome spouse is um don't pay attention to their nagging <laughs> okay don't pay attention to it when you ignore their nagging he or she will stop naturally don't pay attention to it they will stop naturally number five never ignore the things that makes them nag never ignore the things that makes them nag like i say um someone could be nagging because they feel they are not getting your attention someone could be nagging because you are always leaving the door open when they ask you not to leave it open someone can be nagging because they give you money for food instead of you to use it for food you are using it for something else there's always something that makes them nag so try as much as you can to ignore those things that makes them nags then number six check if it is your fault okay 
check if you are the reason why they are nagging are they like that with every other person is this how they nag in their, in, in their working place is this how they nag nag their sisters is this how they quarrel everywhere so check out if it is your fault okay and if it is your fault work on yourself okay please don't make them nag and finally pray for them <laughs> just pray ah i'll always prescribe prayer for everything because it answers to everything prayer answers to everything when you add it with other principles you do the right thing the things you're supposed to do prayer will always answer to it so try as much as you can to check if it's your fault and you know right your wrongs okay pray about all things i hope this video has been helpful it's short but if you can use it you will it will minimize that quarrel in your house thank you for joining love you see you next time and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you have a question i'll be there to answer bye